Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. It is as well the smallest planet in the solar system. It is as large as some of the moons in the solar system. As it is 57 million kilometers away from the Sun, that means that it is a bit less than three times closer to the Sun than the Earth is. And that, plus with the added fact that there is no atmosphere, means that Mercury is a place with extreme conditions no one would even consider living on Mercury because of such an unwelcoming environment. So let's explore that crazy idea, living on Mercury. Would it even be possible? And even crazier is that such a thing could actually be possible, and not as hard as it seems. Now, despite the fact that Mercury is the closest to the Sun, it is not the hottest place in the solar system. Venus takes that, because of its high pressure carbon dioxide atmosphere. Mercury, on the other hand, pretty much has no atmosphere, but still, 40% of that very, very weak atmosphere is oxygen. But it's such a small quantity that it really is insignificant. Now, because of its weak atmosphere, temperatures are not stable. On the day side of Mercury, the temperature reaches over 400 Celsius, while the night side reaches minus 180 Celsius. It is a big contrast. These conditions are bad, but there are two places in Mercury which are promising for life. And those two are poles of Mercury. The best part is that it is always dark there and temperatures never go below minus 90 Celsius. And that temperature is something we are able to handle. So putting a base on the floor of the craters present on the poles would be possible. After deploying the whole base, bit by bit, over the years through probes, it will be possible to send humans to that base. The base would of course need to be self-sustainable. Likely as this is the future we are talking about, space terrariums would be perfected and there would be food growing on Mercury bases. The energy needed to power the whole base will likely come from many sources. One of them will be solar energy, which would be even many times more efficient than here on Earth because of the fact that Mercury is almost three times closer to the Sun than the Earth is. Putting solar panels on the bright side of Mercury and extracting from that abundant energy source would be quite a relief. So energy will likely not pose much of a problem as it would on other places in the solar system. And that is a problem that is quite big on other places like for example Mars and many other places we usually think of living on. Now getting water would be quite important. And very surprisingly, Mercury has us as well covered on that front. Exactly at the poles of Mercury is where icy regions are. Of course, that is because of the fact that temperature there is never below zero Celsius. So approximately there is a quadrillion kilograms of ice in the craters present on the poles of Mercury, which is somewhat less than the amount of ice present on Antarctica. But still, way more than enough not just for one base on Mercury, but for many Mercury bases. Now, if the base turns out to be successful, the next possible step would be to create a much larger colony. Maybe even something like a city. A city on Mercury. It does sound crazy, but as we can see, it could be possible. The whole crater could be used as a ground for a city. It would be a city built on a crater with an icy floor. Now, of course, life on Mercury as an individual would not be a very good one, as you would suffer from many health problems due to low gravity and radiation. Plus, the scenery present in that dark crater would be incredibly dull and depressing. An individual would pretty much spend most of his time in a place surrounded by pitch black darkness. The sun never touches those poles. Of course, there is likely something that could be done preventing lots of problems from gravity and likely the whole crater could be made to be free from dangerous radiation levels. Still, unless there is some technology to keep the inhabitants of Mercury's poles satisfied with the life that they have, they would likely not enjoy living there, as much as it does sound exciting. So living on Mercury is possible and despite the fact that 
it seems to be a bad idea at first. It is actually easier to live on Mercury than on many other places which are on our current radar. Now, of course, such a thing may not ever even happen. It would be crazy expensive and the idea of living on Mercury does not attract as much attention as some other places do.